take a look at graphics and you will see how these temperatures are shaping up already at 1245 PM. It is 92 degrees right now in places like Slidell, 94 at the airport and in Bellchase, 94 in Galliano as well. And then, of course, it feels even hotter than that with the humidity. It feels like the triple digits for everyone except for Buris, which feels like 98 because they have had the rain and the cloud cover so far today. Hey, there's a bit of a breeze out there for some of you coming in up to 15 miles an hour throughout the afternoon hours. This is a radar loop over the past hour, and you can see how radar has become more active over our area really again over the last 60 minutes. Something else I'm watching this cluster of storms too, trying to work its way towards us. But let's start with what we have right now. A little bit of lightning now flashing off to the east of Mandeville, so places like the Mandeville and Madison Madisonville and Covington area just saw that rain. That's now heading to Lacombe, Ponchatoula, Hammond getting some of that rain. Bogalusa was seeing some shower activity just a minute ago. On the South Shore in the metro area, we have a little bit of shower activity now popping up over Kenner and the airport. More scattered rain out there near Raceland, Gray, and then this continues all down through the coastal areas all the way back over towards the mouth of the river and up into St. Bernard Parish to near Hopedale. So today we have a 60% chance of rain and storms with the heavy rain risk. There is a low risk of flash flooding where thunderstorms set up and also a low severe weather risk. So all of us highlighted under that low threat of street flooding today. If you have a thunderstorm out there, you could get a little bit of localized flooding and we are also all under the low risk of seeing damaging wind gusts within thunderstorms out there. Here's a look at future radar and how it could shape up throughout the afternoon hours. Again, I'm expecting more activity to develop within the next hour or two. More thunderstorms out there throughout the afternoon hours, even into the evening, South Shore and North Shore. We can't rule out more thunderstorm activity after sunset and into our overnight hours. Isolated rain is possible overnight. Besides that, it will be very typical to the past several nights and several mornings with lows in the 70s and the 80s. It will be humid. And then tomorrow is very similar to today. Once again, scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms with a risk of localized flooding and a severe weather risk. But while you are dry, you are hot and highs will likely warm up into the 90s for most of us. Tomorrow, most of our area is under that low threat of flash flooding. So places like Holma, not highlighted by the Weather Prediction Center, but still where we have these thunderstorms pop up, you could get that street flooding, the localized flooding, and also these thunderstorms tomorrow have the potential of producing a damaging wind gust, and we could get a severe thunderstorm warning out of that. Rain chances stay scattered through Wednesday, and then they drop back a little bit on Thursday. In the tropics, we now have a medium chance of development, tropical or subtropical development. Development, but the good news is this is not a threat to the United States. So no tropical threats to us, but something we will have to watch out for today. Street flooding as well as the threat of some damaging wind gusts and a severe thunderstorm. That is today and tomorrow. Notice how when rain chances drop back by the end of the work week, temperatures really rise into the middle 90s.